Excuse me, it's the way from seven year records this morning, the Sun and Moon Show. It was called Moon Returns of Your Cat. And you can see in the thumbnail that Sun is giving Moon a hug. Who doesn't love sibling love? Brotherly love, sisterly love. We all love it. We all secretly love our siblings. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes all your siblings and how nice they treat you. But deep deep down you really do love them. I mean, because they are related to you, you know? I mean, then again, just because someone is related to you doesn't mean you have to love them, you know? Yeah, it's just like you don't have to be related to be family, you know? And, of course, we get to that every single time. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, look like... Look, these eyes are very short, so yeah. Alright. Sun Moon Show. What you got for us? Hey, it's like this. I didn't expect him to show up so early. But he does look like mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't mean roasting nice clips, but it's just because it's the clip, you know? He honestly looks like mac and cheese. Especially since like a few months ago, I think it was like in October or something. I saw like one of Cartoony Looney's posts. You know, like one of the Sun Moon Show animators. And he called him mac and cheese. I replied to that post saying, like, I wouldn't eat that mac and cheese because it's probably rotten and sour. <laughs> so I guess you could say, shout out to Cartoony Looney for coming up with that idea of calling Eclipse mac and cheese. <laughs> I mean, some people call him, like, Dorito Man or whatever. I call Eclipse, like, like you know, our Eclipse. I call him Overgrown Halloween Decoration or um, a Pumpkin or Jack Lantern. That was a big one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry for, hold on. That's a tongue twister word. I'm sorry. That's a tongue twister word. Entrepreneur. Carpenter. We'll call it carpenter. <laughs> no. All right, let's 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 move on. Yeah. Okay, so you guys don't know what's going on. So, Moon went to the next clip's dimension, obviously, and and in their world, in their world, took them a month. But back in the universe that we know, it's only a week. So yeah, and I think I think next clip's dimension takes place in 2020. I think yeah, was like our universe takes place in 2020. Three, I think, you know. I mean, or, I mean, you know, Sun and Moon show the dimension. I'm sorry, I can't understand the word they're saying without the subtitle. <laughs> I think because the clip of voice is so low. Son, 
stay in. Yeah, it's because I turned somebody like the milk. And we're talking about Freddy. Grandma Freddy's brother. Freddy's not there. Not Grandma Freddy. Oh, boy. All right, closes. Okay, also, comment down below. Who do you think is worse? Ruin, or... Do you think Soon is worse? You know, like, S-U-O-N? Or Eclipse? Who do you think is worse or more dangerous? Like, okay, it's it comes without like the star. Don't don't count the star because the star is its own thing. But who who's like more malicious and more who could hurt you faster more? Who do you think is more dangerous, soon or eclipse? Like I said, not including the star. Oh, come on. Why did we get an ad right here? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, this one is skippable, luckily. And there. I'm pretty sure it'd be something kind of almost like titanium, you know, no, is titanium an element? I don't know, like something like gold or iron or oxygen. <laughs> That's science. But magic is like something um, out of Harry Potter. Like Liviosa, well, not Liviosa. <laughs> or, actually, I can do these on British accent. And with, like, the Harry Potter quote, I think. We could get killed, or worse, expelled. <laughs> I mean, that's all I got. I've still got practice to do. Okay, so I have to pause it again, but I think I would have an idea. So let me show if you're somehow watching this. I'm not sure if you are, but here's my plan. Um, distract him and go up behind him and disintegrate him. There you go. There was your plan. Unless it goes through the person without, no. You assume I can't shoot him, but you 
brother ended up just like staying quietly for a while. Oh, he's so good. Gosh. Yep. Okay, so the computer's our brother, so okay. He takes on a move. Except quite more often. We don't have speed. Anyway, uh the begin analysis and uh blueprinting of how to make a Rick Sanchez portal gun. Race prohibition. One one That was the other me, that's the new me. What? Bro, I swear. You know what? Just punch the computer again. Not some sense into it. You know, no I wouldn't condone violence, but... Okay, when it comes to annoying stuff like Eclipse or the computer, that's why violence is needed. <laughs> you know? If someone takes you off that much, like to the point where you can't take it, that's when violence starts to come in, you know. But normally, I wouldn't suggest that. But if it's really, really got on your nerves and they don't stop you, and if you do ignore them, just, you know, knock some sense into them. They'll probably stop, because they don't want to mess someone with someone who's, like, stronger and tougher. Also, why are they? Oh come on! Why is there a second that? This is like what's like a third ad? Oh come on! Hold 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 on. Uh, okay, luckily this one is skippable. Alright, give it a moment. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Also, why did not you try the password? One, two, three, four. Okay, is there flames of squirt guns? No. It's like literally fly it's like literally fighting a boulder with a drill. <laughs> or I don't know. Actually that's I don't know how to compare the two. I got another idea for how we can destroy clips.
swim to another dimension and send a nuke in there. <laughs> I don't know, just come up with like some random plans. Cause sometimes, okay, sometimes the most dangerous things could actually work to, you know, care of your biggest enemy, but it all depends on your enemy too, you know. Like for example, Eclipse, you know, like a very powerful being. Sometimes you need powerful weapons to destroy him. Like, because the star can only do so much. And, because it can't keep him protected forever. And you can send him to a dimension where there's just nuclear stuff and, like, possibly radioactive, you know. What's it called? Um, I don't know. Something radioactive or something. No. Which, how does what happens to go in order to launch him from wherever he's standing into the portal? It could blow up, like, both of these structures. Uh, Well, praise God, technically. Actually, yeah, actually, it's not. No. Eclipse is kind of a god. Because he's more powerful than Golden Freddy now. Because if you guys didn't know, Golden Freddy is losing his power, and so is Freddy. And I think Glamour Freddy, I think, as well, and so is Shadow Freddy. I think everybody who has, like, magical powers is slowly losing their power due to Eclipse, and yeah, Eclipse is just a horrible person. I mean, unless he gets a redemption arc, then maybe. But then again, Eclipse is just kill code, way worse, basically, at this point. And then, like, the sun's code in there also mixed with, like, Moon's kill code. So... And I think, I think that Chris was just a glitch in the first place. Sorry about Gizem, keep pausing super often.
Okay, so personally, I would say probably. Ooh, that's tough. Because, <laughs> like, if Moon goes, then so I'll be alone again. But then again, it's gonna be the same. Wait, you know what? I would say, in my opinion, I think I'll go with. Yeah, because that's hard. Because Moon has already been gone for long enough. But. But. Um. I would say Salt Lake Sun. Any reason for that? That's fair. Well, I just put it here. Okay. Uh, let's see this. Computer, get full admin access. Uh, okay, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of power, man. Why would Kyoko be outside the Earth? game Ooh. okay so I okay I bet you tomorrow they're gonna probably upload Minecraft <laughs> the computer is so sarcastic. I mean, I like sarcasticness to like a certain level. I mean, if you're like being sarcastic, it could be like funny. So it's like Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, like where I come from, that's what's called. That's like you know, some other parts of the world you might call it Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. But like Raphael the turtle, he was sarcastic, but that one was funny. 
Chris, come here, here, who's being sarcastic, is annoying. Because, like, it depends on, like, how you view sarcasticness and, like, how they're using sarcasm. Like, Ninja Turtles, like, for example. Uh, Raphael, he was being sarcastic to be funny. Whereas, the commuter here, he's being sarcastic just to be a jerk. And also, comment down below, which, uh, computer do you like? Do you like the one that's talking to this one right now, or do you like the other one? <laughs> okay, the one voiced by Davis, or the usual Davis, I think it's one who plays computer one, I think. Who's, I think, the sarcastic one. Or do you like the one played by EC, Universal, who voices the other one? Which kind of sounds a little bit like Lunar, I guess you could say. And that's it. Well, yeah, that's it for this video. So hit subscribe and hit the bell button and comment down below. Um, we think they're gonna play tomorrow. With do you think it's gonna be Minecraft, the uh, FNAF fan game, or Call of Duty, Left 4 Dead 2, Roblox? No, see you guys in the next video. Bye.